Hello, my name is Del Deaton. I'm author creator of JamesBondWatches.com. In this episode of Exploring James Bond's Wristwatch, we're going to take a look at the Hamilton Pulsar P2. This is the watch that introduced Roger Moore as James Bond in the 1973 Ian Productions film Live and Let Die. Okay, here on my wrist we have the Pulsar P2 Astronaut. Uh, it's a rather simple, straightforward watch in terms of function, uh, in terms of operation, uh, what it is that it tells you, but it occurs to me that there are a lot of people who have never actually seen this watch operate. There are some uh, stills of it available here and there on the internet. Um, not a whole lot of these continue to be in operation, frankly, over the years. Uh, what you will do then is quite simply push the button on the side, and it shows the time according to Hamilton specifications for 1.25 seconds. If you hold the button in, it switches over to show you the seconds. That's why in Live and Let Die, when Roger Moore was checking the time at the beginning of his uh, introduction, I guess, as James Bond, uh, he pushes the button twice to check the time. Simple clasp with the uh, Pulsar logo indication on it. Remove the watch then. Take a look at it on the back. Minutes and hours are set here using a magnet that's hidden underneath the clasp. This is the magnet here. The magnet is a uh, horseshoe shaped affair that pulls out and actually sets into these areas like so one side for hour, one side for minutes. So let's take a look at the other side of the watch. We'll seat the magnet and you'll see how it advances the minutes. Come around to the other side and you'll see how simply it advances the hours until the time is set. Set that off to the side uh, it certainly is a thick watch by today's uh, quartz standards, quartz operating watch. But if you compare it to this watch, which is the um, Omega Planet Ocean, uh, the one worn by Daniel Craig, or a model like the one worn by Daniel Craig in his introduction as James Bond in Casino Royale, you'll see that they're roughly comparable in thickness. You'll actually see if you take a look at the lug-to-lug -lug dimension that the uh, Hamilton Pulsar is a slightly more narrow watch. So again, we'll return the watch to our wrist. And that is the Hamilton Pulsar P2, worn by Roger Moore as James Bond, his introduction, Live and Let Die, Ian Productions, 1973. Thank you for watching.